Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to be looking at the first section now. Now, before we do start, I want to just highlight a couple of things um, in this video, and then we don't need to say it again in the future uh, videos or guides that I may uh, have as we go through the different aims for component one. You'll notice that I have a lot of red font and then black font. Some are in bold, some aren't. Uh, the general rule, the way I've designed this so that you understand this is anything in red in your real coursework, when you start the real thing, shouldn't be there. The red is here for the practice to help you. So while we're doing this mock, the red writing is here to help organize your thoughts, organize your work and organize the content that is required. Give you some prompts, give you some ideas of, of what it is that you need to do. It's basically a guide, a step-by-step -step guide of what it is that's required for this piece of coursework. Now, in the real thing, you will only have these titles, the black. And then, of course, you have this red here um, to remind you what it is that you have to do. So during the practice, all I would ask you to do, especially if you're in my class or my lessons, is that you click over here and you notice the text should go black. If it doesn't, you simply start answering, highlight it and change it up here to the color that you want. OK, if you push this down, You'll get more menu here, um, but you can reduce the, uh, the the ribbon, the menu at the top by doing that as well. I'm just going to delete that now. As I said, in the real thing, you will simply put the title and give the definition. Put the title and answer these questions. Put the title and answer those questions. So this is separated out for the benefit of you doing it here during the mark in the practice because it's your first time. Do not delete anything here. Do not delete the red, do not delete anything. When you start, you answer it, that's it. And then when you do the real thing, what I would hope is that when you print it off, you have it in front of you. And rather than just looking at the answers from the practice to help you with the real thing, you'll also have a reminder of what it was, uh, what it was, what, what was asked of you for you to get to those answers as well. So that's why my advice is to keep the, the questions there as well. But as I said, let me make this point clear, but ladies and gents, you do not want these, anything in red, in your real uh, coursework. It is just the titles, the subtitles, everything that's black and in bold. So if I scroll down just for a second, you'll see some sections have more prompting and questions than others. So some of them will be longer videos, others will be short and so on and so forth. So the red is just to help you here. You do not need it in the real thing. I hope I made that clear. Right, let's go on to the first section. So in this video, we're looking at section one, literally just this section here. Okay, just going to keep it so, so short and simple. And the title should give it uh, give it away, the, the user interface. And it's up to you now to basically explain what the user interface is. What is a user interface? What's the point of a user interface? What's the purpose? What's its job? Um, and then go through the details. So you want a nice, simple definition here. You're not going into the pros and cons because we're going to break that down in the next sections, but it's just a nice, clean definition. Now, if you are in my class, you will be used to seeing this uh, booklet here. You may be given a printed copy. You may have an online version of it. Uh, if I go right to the beginning, you'll know what I mean. Um, this is what it looks like, and your teachers may give you a copy. Um, but it does have everything you need, literally everything. It breaks it down. Um, so from time to time, depending on what section you're on, I will actually say, look at this page or look at that page. So I'm going to go back to the page we're on right now. And you'll see the very first thing we look at, uh, if this loads up my internet, is a little bit slow here, um, is interface. Uh, you see it says here component one as well, so it's nicely organized. Here we go. Introduction to user interfaces. So if you're in my class, you will have or you will be looking at what a user interface is and you will have had a test as well. So this here, this here at the top is very, very useful. In fact, imperative. Now it's not enough to just copy and paste that, ladies and gents. It has to be in your own words. You have to prove that you understand it. So, you know, copy and pasting just proves that you know how to do one thing. Copy and paste. You know, regurgitating it in that form doesn't give you any marks. It just proves that you know how to do those, that, you know, simply control C, control and V. You have to explain it. So you have to say, what is a user interface? So we're looking for something that's similar to this little section here. Okay, that a user interface is a piece of software. It sits between the humans and the device. It allows the user to operate the device to carry out tasks. It's the bridge. It's the face that, it, that we as human beings interact with. 
it's you know without it we wouldn't be able to con you know communicate and use and and function uh, things like our mobile phones uh, our laptops this laptop that i'm using right now to make, make this recording a tv and so on and so forth it's what we use to control the hardware that we have yeah so it's usually a screen doesn't necessarily have to be black you know, in color. It could be black and white. Doesn't have to be touch screen. It can be through you know physical hard buttons that could be on the side or on the bottom or something. It is what we see and interact with. Yeah. So it's the face that we interact with. The face of the computer, the device, the system, whatever it is. So you want to use something similar to this to give your own definition of what a user interface is. There's a little bit more in this paragraph here. User interface is software that you can see when you when using a device. As I said, it allows you to respond to a device by entering information. That information could be through a finger, if it's a touchscreen device. It could be through uh, the mouse. If it's a laptop or a computer, you can control the cursor, which is basically the arrow that we use uh, on the screen. It could be controlled with a, a voice if you're telling it to do something. If you've got a smartphone, you should know that, you know, if you've got an iPhone, you can control C by speaking to it. If you've got a, an Android device, you can bring out uh, Google Assist doc, uh, uh, software, the Assistant, uh, which will obviously answer your questions. If you've got Samsung, it's got its own version of it called Bixby. You know, there's so many different ver versions out there. If you mind lessons, we talked about older Samsung TVs, which is ironic, which because I don't think they do it anymore, but there were TVs a few years ago where you can control it by speaking to it. And it will, it will wake up by saying, you know, hello Samsung or something like that. And it would then wait for you to give it some commands. And you could change the control, you know, the, the channel increase or reduce the volume. You can use your hand to, as gestures to, you know, if you wave up or down. And even now, new cars, I've seen a recent do uh, uh, um, uh, a little review a review of um, new technology in, in BMW cars where you can use your finger to sort of emulate, you know, imitate the, the, the action that would take if you were to scroll a knob to increase the volume or reduce the volume on the radio. But rather than physically holding a knob, you are actually just twisting your fingers, doing the action in the air, and it senses it. If you have an Xbox Connect device, if you used that before, or you know Nintendo Wii, then you know these are controls um, that you have uh, available to you to control the device, the game, the software uh, using physical gestures. So these are other methods and means of controlling that device. And that's a form of interface because you'll see something on the screen. Uh, how else would you know that it's waiting for you to do something? Um, you can all, you can now also use sound, as I said, uh, where you enter commands by talking to it. Um, and a lot of cars have that as well. You can say something and it listens to you and you can give it a postcode and you know, it enters it on the sat-nav and so on and so forth. So you want to give a nice little overview of what it is. Give some examples if you want to, uh, but that should go into that section there.